Hi, good afternoon. This is Sue again. I'm doing my uh, series, my second in a series of gentle yoga uh, using our chair as a prop. And I'm very excited about that. I have, I've not done that before and I liked how the first one came out. So we're gonna do the second one right now. But first, let's warm ourselves up from the inside out. Put our palms up on our lap. Close the gaze. And just think about your inhale and your exhale. In through your nose and out through your nose. Just trying to um, get rid of the busyness of the day and calm our mind for this practice of yoga today. Do one more breath in and out. And in our next breath, notice how your fingers kind of are curled up. On the next breath in, let's straighten out our fingers. On the inhale and on the exhale, just let them go back. We'll do that a few times. time with our hands. In this time on the inhale, open your gaze, bring the arms up and out to the back. Gaze up to the sky on the inhale. On the exhale, curve the back, bring the arms down. Inhale very slowly. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And once more, inhale, gaze up. And exhale, bring the hands back down to your lap. Okay. We're going to pretend like we have a marker on the end of our nose and rotate that marker, drawing a figure eight. Pretend like the figure eight is side to side. So we're going to go up and down with the neck very slowly. Now we're going to reverse that. Try to make the movement slow and big. And one more. And stopping the movement. We're gonna shrug our shoulders just very gently. First one and then the other one and then both. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale both up. Exhale down. One more round. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Okay, let's pay some attention to our hands. Bring your hands out in front of you, make two wrists, and just let's just flick our hands open and closed. A lot of the places where we start to get arthritis is the hands and the wrist. So we want to keep moving them. Let's move your wrists now too. 
those hands in and out, move the wrists. Okay, now bring the hands over to one side, and we're going to pretend like we're playing the piano. And just, this is also a side stretch, so go over just as far as you can to the side. Our silent piano. Come to the front and shake the and go back to your hands in your lap. Okay, um, we are gonna continue with a side twist. It's progressive and all this is warming up to our standing up doing some exercises on the chair, some asanas on the chair. So close your, cross your hands over your chest and we're gonna bring the body to the right very slowly and then to the left. Now I'm going to give several different choices, so whichever one you would like to stay with is fine. You can hold on to the elbows and twist. <clears throat> and we can bring the arms further out and keep twisting slowly and gently. Great for our spine. And then we can bring the arms all the way out. And let's do just a couple more. And last one. Come back to the front. Put your hands down and let's bring our legs out into a V position. Now, I almost kicked over my water. I wanted to remind everybody to always have your water bottle available when you're doing yoga. And if you need to stop and pause the video and take a sip, that's great. Okay, so our legs are out in a V. And we're gonna put our forearm down on one of our legs. Bring that arm up for a nice stretch. Reach for the sky. <clears throat> and then bring that arm over your head. Look up under your arm at the sky. And bring that arm down. We're going to do the other side. Reach up. So we're leaning on this leg. We're reaching up with our left hand here and bringing it over the head. Now, if you want to engage your abs a little more, you can let go of this hand, and then your abdominals need to keep you up. So let's do that once more on each side. Let's do the hard version. Of course, you don't have to do that. You have the option of leaning on that leg. And then one more on this side. And then come back to neutral. Okay, one more uh, warm up thing. Um, we're gonna raise our arms up. Our legs are still in that V. We're gonna come down into cactus. And that gives us a really nice straight back. And then we're gonna for fold forward using those abdominals to hold ourselves. See how far forward you can come with that Hinging at the hips and keeping that back straight. Inhale. And exhale, hands to the floor, if you can do that. Now let's walk our hands over to the left. And then raise that right arm up. And bring the arm down. And we're going to walk to the middle. And then to the right, and bring that arm up. And then down. Push on your mat with your palms. Straighten your back. And then come all the way up and bring your legs in.
Okay, ready to use the chair as a prop. Okay, let's, let's stand up. <clears throat> and I'm, we're gonna do uh, two sides here. And first at the chair, we're just gonna take some breaths standing in front of our chair. I've got the seat facing me. So we're gonna come to prayer hands. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up. And this third time we're gonna come down, lean forward, forward fold. Our hands or our forearms are on the chair. Our knees are soft. Forward fold using the chair. And then come all the way up. And we're gonna forward fold again. And this time when we're down here, we're gonna Going to step back just a little bit and <clears throat> we're going to come into that cat position and cow and we'll go back and forth and cat cow a few times warming up our spine so the chair is our base instead of using the floor we've got our arms on the chair well, let's do a couple more. And come to neutral. Okay, bring your palms to the chair. And you might want to grab the seat of the chair. And on this one, we're going to snuggle into our right foot. Bring that left foot slowly up and out to the back. And then when you're ready, bring that right arm forward. So right arm and left leg for a balanced pose. And breathe. Bring the arm down, bring the leg down, walk it out a few steps. And guess what? Other side, snuggle into that left foot. Bring that right foot up. And when you're ready, bring that left arm up. Bring them both down, walk it out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna try plank using the chair. So we really wanna hold on for this one because our feet are gonna be a little further back. So get a good grip with your hands, move your feet back, and when you're ready, straighten out into plank. If you like, you can add a few push-ups here. <laughs> and then walk forward. We're gonna rest for just a moment. Come back into plank. Bring the body forward. And hold. Let's add a little up dog and back. And up dog or cobra and back down. And back into down dog. Our arms, your, your knees are soft. Your arms are on the side of your head by your ears. And come forward. 
and come all the way up and bring the hands down to your chest. Okay, next is warrior two. So we're gonna have our right foot forward towards the chair, back foot perpendicular, as in warrior two. We're gonna bend that knee. Be careful not that you can see your uh, toes out to the front and bring the arms up for warrior two. Bring that right hand down, the one nearest to the chair. And come up with that left arm, still bending your knee. Push back up. And bring the left hand down the left leg and bring the right arm up. And you can go ahead and bring that over your head. And back to warrior two. Don't forget to bend that knee. Now we're gonna straighten the knee. Shift to the right towards the chair. And like you're holding a broomstick, come down with it. And we're going into triangle. Our right hand is on the chair, left hand up to the sky. And push back up and bring the hands down. Okay, um, from here, we're going to stay in this position. Put both hands, well, actually your right hand in the middle of that chair. Bring your feet together. We're going to do side plank. And push on that chair with your right hand. Rotate your body up. And gaze up at that hand. And bring the hand down and walk those feet back to the chair. Okay, let's go into down dog for a little rest before we do half moon. So our right leg is going to come forward for half moon. Right leg forward, right hand on the seat of the chair, left leg up, and when you're ready, bring that left arm up. Whoops. And bring those arms and legs down. Step forward, inhale up, and exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to do the other side. I'm going to bring my chair over here. So we're going to start with another down dog. Inhale up, exhale down hands to the chair, step out as far as you need to in order to bring those arms near your ears, straight back and soft knees. And breathe into your down dog. Let's, let's walk the dog while we're here. We didn't do that before. Okay. And stopping the movement, the left foot's going to come forward towards the chair, right foot back and perpendicular. Bend the knee. I can see my toes. Warrior two hands and gaze out towards that front arm towards the chair. Bring that arm down on the chair. Other arm up to the sky. And 
and come back up to warrior two. Oop, still bending your knee. Bring that right arm down, left arm up. Come back to warrior two. Straighten that leg. Remember, you've got that pole or broomstick that you're holding. We're going to shift over to the left and come down into triangle. Big stretch behind that left leg. And then bring that arm down. Bring your left foot out to meet the right foot. We're going to go into side plank. Bring the body down. And when you're ready, raise that right arm up to the sky. And bring that arm down very slowly. We're going to come into half moon. So my left foot is going to be a little closer to the chair. Right foot back. My left hand is on the seat of the chair. Bring that right leg up. And when you're ready, rotate that right arm up. And bring that arm and leg down gracefully. And let's go back into down dog. Walk back until those arms are at your ears. Soften the knees and flat back. One more breath. And walk towards the chair. Inhale up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So I hope you enjoyed using the chair as a prop. We're going to bring it back to the front and cool down just a little bit. Okay, I wanted to do some more leg work here. So we're going to place our hands underneath that right leg and just bring it in and out. Just let it flop. Don't do anything to hold, for the, hold the leg up with your hands. That's what I'm trying to say. The leg is just relaxed. And let's take it in some circles. And don't forget to go the other way. And then bring that leg down. Let's do our other leg, holding it underneath and just bringing it back and forth. And big circles. Our legs have worked hard <laughs> in that middle part of this gentle yoga routine. And let's reverse it. And one more. And come down. Okay, we're going to do a soccer kick right now. And we'll just do the feet first, and then we'll add the arms. So you're going to Raise that right leg up and kick out and bring it back and don't let it down on the floor. Kick out and back and out and back. And this time the right leg comes out and the left arm goes up. And bring it down. Okay, raise your left leg up, kick that leg out to the front, 
and bring it back out and back and this time kick it out bring your arm up and hold and bring it back down okay you may have to hold on to the side of your seat for this one bring your legs out straight and hold bring your arms all the way up and bring them both down okay you should have felt that in your abs okay i just wanted to do a little work with our hip flexors which is right here so turn to the side, to the left. So your left leg is out straight. Your right leg is right down towards the floor. Flatten your foot, straighten your back, and raise that arm up. And even a little back bend because we're warmed up. And then back down. And inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then bring that leg forward. Let's switch sides. So my right leg is anchored down. My left leg. The knee is pointing towards the floor. Start straight back and inhale that arm up a little bit of a back bend and down and up and down now i've got my right arm on the back of that chair to steady myself and down and one more up And down. Swivel around to the front, but bring your legs out wide. We're going to do our windshield wiper legs. And I like to add the arms, so stop those windshield wipers. Come the other way with your arms. Hi, everybody. So we'll get the arms and legs going at the same time. And stopping the movement, bring the legs in. And place your hands on your legs for now. Start to think about your breathing again, in through your nose, out through your nose. And close your gaze. Bring your hands to heart center. And for our Shavasana in the chair, we're just trying to relax everything. Bring our mind back to our breath as it goes in and out of the body. Couple more breaths. Open the gaze. I hope you've liked this gentle yoga class using the chair as our prop. As always, if you have comments or likes or dislikes, please let me know. Thank you. Namaste.